In 2015, world leaders agreed to take on the world's most serious problem, climate change, with an ambitious goal, limiting the global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius. To meet this reduction target, we would need to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide we release into the atmosphere by about 40% by 2030. Such a fast change would require radical solutions. Not that kind of solution. Today, 40% of carbon emissions are produced from the use of energy in the home and personal transportation, so reducing emissions by households is immensely important. How could this be achieved? One innovative solution is personal carbon trading, or PCT. Under a PCT policy, governments would set a personal and equal cap on emissions that would reduce gradually over time. Each individual would then receive the same yearly carbon allowance. People with low carbon lifestyles would use up their accounts slowly, whereas people with high energy and carbon lifestyles would find their carbon account empties more quickly. Energy consumption would become more expensive once their allowance runs out. People who don't use up their allowance would be able to sell the remainder in the personal carbon market. This could benefit less well-off or greener people who generally consume less energy and encourage people with more options to reduce their carbon footprint. For example, they could insulate their homes better or switch to more energy-efficient appliances and transportation. Dr. Yael Parag from IDC Herzliya and Dr. Tina Fawcett from Oxford University have been researching PCT. What would PCT look like in reality? How could PCT be both fair and effective? Would the public and politicians accept PCT? Parag and Fawcett argue that PCT would be effective as it taps into three powerful behavioral drivers. Economic. A carbon-intensive lifestyle would be more expensive. Psychological. Raising carbon awareness would motivate people to change their energy use habits and to prefer a lower carbon lifestyle. Social. The fact that everyone would have an equal allowance would set a new social norm around a shared effort to reduce carbon emissions and help limit climate change. Mm -hmm. Researchers in several countries are already looking into this radical idea. Dr. Parag and Dr. Fawcett are continuing to develop it. They're defining a research agenda and exploring how PCT, together with other policies, could help us become a low-carbon society. Audio Jungle